Hi everyone, it feels like you're all very fresh and motivated and okay. <laughs> so we try to make it quick and, and funny and okay. Um, so we are Freaks, Free Architects, a group of three architects, the three of us. Yves, Cyril and myself, Guillaume. We, I don't know who was at the Skype talk we had earlier. We had this, a short presentation already. One, two, three. So we started to work together in 2007, but we were still working part-time here and there in different architecture offices. And in 2010, we had the chance to be awarded the Price Ajap, which is a um, um, prize given by the French Minister of Culture every two years for um, promoting young architecture practices under 35 years old. And from that time, 2010, we decided that we would start to work together, like to build up our own office. Uh, we had to find out a, a name, so Freaks came like a, an idea, something that was in the air. We had to have a profile picture, so we have this uh, profile picture. We had to have a statement, so we had this uh, less is more, more is more, and less is not enough statement, which was something like a joke regarding the Miss Van Der Rohe quote. And we started to work on a um, couple of projects, at first very small scale project. This is the, um, uh, our very first project, a housing project in Saint-Ouen. It's in the northern suburb of Paris. It was an extension of a, a house. And it was our very first project, but we had this feeling that architecture is something quite boring. Not in a way that it's boring to make architecture, but it's always boring to present architecture. Architecture magazines are always showing the same uh, glossy pictures with the same um, nice plants on the table, with the same, the same art book on the table. And as, as a first statement, we organized something like um, uh, performance somehow. We dressed up the three of us as burglars, so we broke into the house uh, for the photo shoot, the photo session. Uh, who better than the architects can themselves uh, break into the house they have designed? And since that time, we started to really have a statement on how to present architecture to the to the people. This is a picture of one of our last projects. It's a renovation we did for a flat downtown Paris in Rue de Rivoli. We will pass nearby tomorrow during the, the walk we'll have for the workshop. It's actually a, a part of the city, a part of the street that was owned by Napoleon, the Empire. So when we had to do this uh, photo shooting, we dressed up the three of us as Napoleon. We were wearing the Napoleon hat and, and things. Um, this is another um, project we also did. It's an installation for, it's on the facade of the um, Communist Party headquarters. Maybe you know this building. You've seen it maybe from Oscar Niemeyer. Uh, we were um, uh, asked for organizing something for a, a special event and we proposed to do this um, sticker installation onto the facade. It was quite fun to, to, to do. And now, this is a site project. This is the, one of our last projects we're just starting to work on. It's a, a part of a zoo in Strasbourg. You're going to Strasbourg, right, to, in two days. If you have the chance to get there, it's a nice place. It's named the Orangerie. Uh, it's a big park, a park downtown. And you have a small farm embedded in the zoo. And we are commissioned for redoing the whole design of this farm. So it's like a zoo, but instead of a panther, you have a goat. Instead of, instead of the elephant, you have a, a, a cow. And instead of uh, whatever, <laughs> yeah, we have donkeys, we have uh, uh, hamsters. Yeah, we have <laughs> funny animals. So this is what we are working on now. Um, and yeah, then when we were talking together uh, beforehand for this uh, presentation, 
we were thinking maybe it would be interesting for you to present the project we're now working on in, um, together in association with BIG that you might know, Björk Ingels Group, which is a very, very big office. And we are a very, very small office. But still, we teamed up together for a competition uh, in south of France, in Bordeaux, where the, the wine comes from. It's a big um, contemporary art center, let's say. And, and you have maybe side, you want to... You have the site, Jose. Oh, we have the site there. Jose. Yeah. OK, we are exactly here where the big warehouse is. And here you have the big, uh, the new highway, the new high-speed train there. Is that here? Yeah, it's here, right? Yep. Here's the site, and here, right there, you will have soon a new bridge. We still don't know if it's OMA who is going to design it or... It's okay. but yet, Bordeaux is like a, a hot place now for architecture in France. It's been a lot of things happening at the moment. So this is the project we came up uh, with uh, for the time of the competition. We are now at half of the um, studies, like, like drawing phases. So do you want to go on or I go on? Uh, well, we team up with Big, and um, so we are based in Paris. Uh, the, um, the city uh, where we're going to design it is Bordeaux, so in Europe, and uh, we had to, you know, find a way to work with uh, with Big in Copenhagen, an, an efficient way. So we just show here the time to go there for us, or to go to Paris for them, or to go to Bordeaux, which is a bit far away. So we've, we have, as you could guess, many meetings in Paris, but some meetings in Bordeaux. Uh, well, this is all the associate and the um, engineers we're working with uh, right now. So some of them are mostly based in Paris, and some of them are based in Bordeaux. And we're going to talk about you know, now the, um, the project considering the, um, the numbers, the, the amount, or all the numbers, the project through numbers. It's, it's, I'm just saying, it's a big project for us, not just because we work with big, but it's a big project in terms of money. We are usually working on much smaller scale projects. And this uh, 30 million euro project is a big project. So that's why the, the, the issue of numbers, is in, it's somehow funny also for it us. It became funny for us. <clears throat> so that's the cost of the building, so impressive for us. That's roughly the, the cost of uh, these kind of movies. That's the cost of the Titanic movie that these could cost right now. Uh, yeah, we're trying not to reach the 200,000. We're right, right now in the e money issues and it's getting slightly <laughs> Titanic. to the Titanic. That's the gigabytes that we have on a, on a hard disk. Just for us, not for big, just for us. That's all the mails that we come through right now. And that the temperature that we, when we go to Copenhagen, maybe you might be. Yeah, you know, we used didn't to say this. we spent two weeks in Copenhagen uh, during the process of the, the competition, for um, the design process, let's say, and it was really fucking cold at the time. But it was funny. So the project itself is composed of three institutions. Let's say uh, the FRAC is the. Um, um, contemporary art um, place that you you know in France it's a bit uh, like a special kind of program that we have in France. The states <coughs> gather some or buy some art pieces to some newcomers artists and and make their own collections. But it, it's in each uh, region. Yeah, each region has its own uh, frac. It means uh, Fond Régional Art Contemporain, but sorry, I cannot translate. But and for for this time, Frag became a bit more like museum. They decide to show a bit more the the collection. It was not. 
It was not um, planned to be shown uh, at the beginning. Then you've got OARA, which is mostly um, um, as a support to the, um, I don't know, theater and... Performing arts. Performing staging. arts, stagings. And ICLA, which um, more um, um, literature, Movies. cinema, um, and books-oriented um, institution. So it's three different, very different institutions. That's why we've put this kind of funny image. They need to be together. They need to be, you know, to live together. But they're totally different. They, they don't ask to be together. So that was the tricky part of the, of the project. And here is the, um, the concept of the project. It's like a house, you know, with uh, your father, uh, the teenager in his house, and um, the common place that you have to share with your parents. And sometimes it's hard to get along. And the guy in the back is, you know, He's actually a politician. Like the owner, but he's the, the politician um, behind the, this huge project. So we always shown this, uh, this project like a house, you know, that you have to try to get along with your sister or your brother, and, and you have to make some efforts, you know, to, to live together. That's like becoming friends as a series, but it's always a question of, you know, arguing or divorce. And you know, in the background, you've got Bjarkin girls taking planes, never, never here, and you know. So as few people were, um, as Bjarkin girls is always somewhere uh, around the world. We had to, you know, work as like them, you know, making a Friday PDF. Every Friday, we had to make a, a PDF uh, to to sum up what we've done. And um, yeah, we try to to fit to this rhythm. Maybe yeah, to, to step back a bit, the, the thing is that uh, Bjarkingels that you might know is having a, an his own office. Let's say a part of the big office in New York. So even for the project that are being um, uh, worked in uh, Copenhagen is not on site. So they they all have this um, weekly schedule with the um, uh, Friday PDF, we, we just, it's their, their appellation, their name. And yeah, we just fit in their, in their uh, process. It was quite interesting because at some point, you have this deadline weekly, so you set up a presentation that you send to everyone. And it's a very horizontal process, like everyone in the team is receiving this, uh, this data. So it's quite interesting because all engineers, all people embedded in the, in the team that you saw earlier in the tabs, are having the information, they can say, okay, I don't like this, I don't, I don't get this, or, and it's, it's a very interesting and, uh, I don't know, if, um, mature process also. It's not at all this, we're not defending uh, big, or if some people hate it, some people love it, but we, as we are insiders somehow now, we really had this feeling that they are really, um, um, open -minded. yeah, open-minded, and that they're really taking care of what people would, think, or even the young engineer lost in Bordeaux would have some words to say and he could just uh, raise his hand and say something about the product. It's a very, very equal uh, process. So this is uh, like the, the main page of the Friday PDF and this is the way we work among the team. Like we, they actually produce pictures because they have a manpower that we don't have. There are 25 people working on the product and we are two. And so they produce images and then they comment the images and we have all the comments and we can react to the comments and it's like a ping pong game uh, among the team. They also have the manpower of producing one-to-one -one scale mock-up, like proper one-to-one -one scale model, what we don't do either in our office. So this is a one-to-one -one scale model of the facade seen from one of the office uh, room, so we were checking the size of the windows and things. We are quite early in the process of design, so this is coming very early. And uh, they organize a French party uh, in, that's the new place in Copenhagen of, of the big office. And the one girl you see here, I don't know if you see my mouth, yeah. 
She's named Gabi. She's uh, Ke from Quebec, from Canada, so she's French speaking. And she's the project leader of this project in Copenhagen. She's, she's our, our best friend now in the, in the process of the project. This is a picture showing all the schemes we went through, like sketching around or making models. Uh, and this is the slight evolution of the project from the very basis. It's actually the site you're, the site you're still uh, saying here. And this is from the other side of the bank. We are actually sitting where the, the picture is taken. And um, this bridge is a bridge from Eiffel, the same as the Eiffel Tower, uh, which is the old bridge doubling the new uh, highway bridge. And this is the site visit, first visit yeah, we did on site with Björk Ingels that you can see here, who is a big teenager and who, of course, wanted to jump over the, the bridge. And yeah, he almost killed himself at this time. And yeah, they've just gone wild on the on the tracks. And maybe we just say now a few words about this workshop that we are going to give a, a longer presentation tomorrow morning. I heard that you're already 30 people like listed on the list, so it's fine. We're not uh, uh, just the, the three of us leading our own workshop and doing the workshop by our own. Um, when we were asked to think about a workshop for your coming in Paris, we thought, okay, the um, uh, Serbian Cultural Center is downtown Paris, so we have to do something around downtown Paris. And it's this project that you maybe know, maybe you don't, the Plan Voisin from Le Corbusier. This is Le Corbusier having some fun in the lake. And it's the, the model of the project he did. This is the... Ile de la Cité, the, um, uh, Notre Dame is here, and the Centre Pompidou is somewhere lost in the tower. Everything, all the center of Paris was about to be destroyed, and it would uh, rise up those um, cross-shaped towers. So we thought this would be an interesting master plan for having a trip, hanging around the streets. And so we're go going to give a, a longer presentation tomorrow, but for those who have an iPhone or a smartphone, you can already get to this uh, uh, address because we put online today the, the whole uh, path we're going to do tomorrow, the whole day. So if, if you can work, uh, write this down, and I think we're done. Thank you.